Okay, finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, we're actually going to finally run the new KC220. I have a, a large cherry stump behind the shop, and one of my neighbors has a fairly large stump as well. I have not yet seen it. He's just up the hill. I sent him a message. I have not yet heard back from him, but once he saw that we had this thing, he was sort of half joking around that I could come up there and take care of it for him, and I will once we can coordinate. So let's head to the back of the shop now. We'll take a look at what we're going to grind. All right, this is what we got for a cherry. This is fairly large. We're probably looking about, I don't know, across the top, maybe 18 inches, plus a roof flare that comes down all the way to here. Now, the problem with the, the soil conditions in this part of the country is it is notoriously rocky. I'll try to find a piece here. I'll show you what I mean. There's a, a rock here called schist. Very, very hard, very brittle. Here's a piece right here. This is what I'm talking about. This stuff will destroy cutters very quickly. So anytime you're stump grinding, you got to constantly keep an eye out for this stuff. Well, now that I've cleared this away, you get a much better idea of what we're looking at here. And again, it's a pretty decent size. It's not huge. I think the largest stump I've ever done with the Ventrac was about a little over 60 inches. I did one of that size in walnut and another in maple. So this is much smaller. But as you can see, the cross section, the major root flare here, we're probably looking overall, I'd say probably close to 40 inches from here to the far side of this stump. Now, because this is sticking up pretty high above the ground, normally what I would do is I would take a saw, a chainsaw, and I'd cut off the top portion because there's no sense in grinding more stump than is absolutely necessary. The cutters on a stump grinder cost a lot more than a saw chain. I'd say this is acceptable. I usually try to take it about six inches above ground level. And with my wraparound handle, I can't get down much lower than that. So we're in pretty good shape here. Let's bring the vent track over and test out the new stump grinder.
Okay, so my initial impressions, the new KC220 are overall very positive. I mean, that's what I've come to expect from any Ventrac product. The extra large cutting wheel, the speed, the extra RPM, I noticed that right away because every pass I'd make, it very effectively just cleaned all the chips out. So each pass I made was extremely clean. There was no residual chips left over from the previous pass. It effectively moved those off to the side and allowed me to continue working without worrying about the debris at all. So well, in fact, that also given the close proximity to the structure I was working in, I didn't even need to use a material blade, although I can see that coming in extremely handy in many other circumstances. But here, I really didn't get a chance to use it. If you guys are enjoying these videos, I would really appreciate if you would hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell. And that way, when we upload new awesome videos, of which there are plenty, not only will you be the first to know, but other people will be more easily able to find this incredible channel where we use awesome equipment. I encourage you guys to get out to your local dealer and, and check it out as soon as you get a chance. I think you guys will be pretty impressed.